Hello. Hello, hello. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening, class. It's a pleasure to be with you again. So we're going to start with a nice session. Just give me a couple of seconds, okay? So how are you today? Very good, thank you. And you? Very good. Okay. Yeah, it's really, uh, well, I'm excited about the class. And there is a nice weather, I guess. Has it rained over there? Yes, no. Okay, just give me a couple of seconds, guys. I'm closing and up. I wonder where is the rest? Okay, listen up. For today's lesson, we're gonna be checking the requests with models and would you mind? Let's see if what I have an activity for you before doing so. Okay, so just let me share that with you. I'm gonna share a link with you in a moment, okay? Let me see. Uh, I'm fine. So we're going to start with that. Okay. Um, We're going to be using this uh, expression, let's say this question or request. Would you please write clearly? Listen up. So could you repeat that with me? Would you please write clearly? Would you please Would write you clearly? Please write clearly. Clearly. You clearly. Write clearly. 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 Right. 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 Something like this. Will you please write clearly? Would you please write clearly? Would. 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 That's would. 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 Right. Clearly. Okay, so let's see. Second example. Could you work with a partner on exercise for? Could you work, you work with, with a partner on exercise, exercise for? Okay, so could you work? Could you work? Could you work? Could you work? Could you work, could you work? work with a partner on exercise for? Right. Excellent. Awesome. Okay, so we're going to be checking that. Um, that models, that question. Okay, so look at this. And we have some more examples. Would you mind looking over my assignment? I'm not sure it's right. Would you mind looking over my assignment? I'm not sure it's right. Listen again and repeat that with me. Saul, could you uh, repeat that again, please? Would you mind looking over my assignment? Yes. Would you mind looking over my assignment? I'm not sure it's right. Okay. Irma, could you read the second example? And could I leave class 10 minutes early today? And could I leave class 10 minutes early, early today? Okay. Early, early, early. Early today. 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 Okay. Nice. So we're going to be checking that question. So let's see. We have another one. Well, so more requests. Can I borrow your eraser for a moment? So what are some possible answers? Sure. No. Okay. No way. Okay. So listen. Listen and repeat that with me. Can I borrow your eraser for a moment? 
Never can I borrow a moment? For a moment? Sure. 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 No. Sure. No. 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 Right. No. Okay. Look at this. Um. We here we have a sure explanation about oh, I could oh. and would. And uh, remember that we're gonna use these two words to make formal request. For example, you ask someone to do something. So that is a request. A request is when you ask somebody to do something for you, right? For example, you have uh, could and would uh, soften the request and make them more politic. So what if you uh, what if you uh, create a question or you request something using can? So what do you think about this? Desconecten el audio, no dejan escuchar la clase. Okay, could you help us, please? Um, I don't know. What's the microphone? Let me check that. Thanks. Okay. Uh, look at this. So what if you use can? So what do you think? So if could and would is polite, it's more formal, can and will, will be? Informal. Uh -huh. Less formal, let's say, informal, okay, less formal. Or when you address someone you know, right? So when you talk with a friend, hey, you, can you do me a favor? I need five dollars, okay? <laughs> Okay. Okay. Um, remember that with these questions, you're going to use the base form. So could you work an exercise for? Um, what could be any other example? So could you give me more examples? Could you give me more examples using could or would? For example, could you pass me the salt? Mm -hmm. Could you do it for me? Uh -huh. So do you have any idea? Think about one example. Think about one example. Could you try? Help me with my homework. Mm -hmm. Could you help me with my homework? Okay. Let's see. Uh, Raul, do you have any other example? Me? Uh huh. Oh, Raul. Oh. Uh, let me see. Uh, I was thinking about uh, Raul. Raul, yes, oh, Raul. Oh. Could you help with my dinner? Mm, okay. Okay. Could you help me with the dinner, okay. Okay, so just remember that, right? So you have could, then subject, could plus subject plus a verb. So it's an infinitive form, right? And then you add a complement plus the question a mark, right? Okay, let's see. Um. We have another form that is using would, but we're gonna check that examples in a moment, okay? So I'm gonna show you that. Okay, so we were talking about this previously. Use can I will for less formal requests. Can I borrow your eraser? Sure. Okay, so that's basically the difference between um, would and could and can and will. Let's see. Okay. And if we want to be more polite, what do we do, guys? Guys, si queremos ser más formales, o más formales, what do you add? Agregamos. 
please. Please, right? So, will you please, okay, will you please, ideas, will you please? Mute your microphone. Mm -hmm. Mute your microphones, okay, your microphone. Will you please mute your microphone? Yes, right? So, that's even more polite. Another way to use that is adding that at the end, right? Another example. Will you please? Put away your cell phones. Mm -hmm, okay. Put away your cell phones. Will you please? Some more examples, guys. Let's see. Teacher, what, what is the meaning put away? Guardar. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. So, will you please? Any other idea? Clean up your room. Clean up clean. your room. Okay, will you please clean up your room? So, for example, when you do chores, all right, and you ask your children, so will you please make your bed? Okay. Will you please go <laughs> but we don't do this bed. when, but we don't do it that way, right? We just uh, say, make your bed. So when you give instructions or when you give, uh, yeah, when you give instructions or orders to people, for example, you say to your kids, make your bed, okay? That's the instructions. That's the command. Make your bed. So, but a uh, polite way will be, would you please, okay, please make your bed. Okay, so you're going to sound, uh, la, uh, well, very different, right? Okay, uh, let me see. I'm going to continue. And now you have a task. Okay, so what do we have to do right now? You have to create some examples using would or could, and you have to change the statements into polite request using would or could. Uh, and don't forget to add, please. Okay, start, uh, start working on that examples. Start working on that. Let me see. I'm going to give you one minute, okay? Well, that's not too much, right? Let's start working on that. Start working on that. Create your examples using would or could. And uh, don't forget to use please. There you have an example. Um, open your books. So that's the instruction. Will you please open your books? Will you please open your books? Let's see, uh, number one. What do you think about number one? Anybody? Could you turn to page 12, okay. please? Will you please turn to page 12? Okay. And what is the other way that you can use the other form? Will you? Will you please? Uh-huh. Saul, will you please? Number one, using wood. Could you please turn to Mm -hmm. Okay, so will you please turn to page 12? Let's see, second example. Repeat what you said. 
Could you please repeat what you say? Okay. Could you please repeat what you okay said? What you have said? Or would right? So will you please repeat what you said? Let's see. Number three. Who is ready? Number three. Who is ready? I am teacher. Okay, Juan Carlos. Um, could or would you please uh, take out your notebooks? Take out your notebooks. Okay, excellent. Could or would? Let's see, anybody else? Who is ready with number A4? Would you pronounce please, these words. Would you please? Um, uh huh. Please pronounce. Pronounce this word. This word. Okay. So, will you please pronounce this word, or could you please? Okay. Please pronounce this word. Let's see. Number five. Guys, number five. Teacher, it's it's correct say could who please write down the answers. Mm, can you repeat that? Could who? Can who? Mm. No. Why do you want to add that? Quien puede? Mm, okay. So in that case, you can you, you use the double H question. Who can? Yes. Or who could? Ah, who, who could? Okay. Mm -hmm. That's different. Yes. Who could, please? Who could? Um, I'll just say who could write that. That's, okay. That's an example. Yes, remember, the thing in this case is the following, that this is a subject question. And when you have a subject question, it means that you have uh, directly the verb, right? So who could write that? Um, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you, teacher. Number five. Okay, number five. Could you please write down the answer? Who you please write, write down. down the answers? Okay. I am the last one. So remember, using could or would, well, that's more formal. But would is more formal than could. Entonces, vamos en una escala en aumento. Quiere decir que would todavía. Is mass for one. So that's why you're gonna uh, watch um, the video. Okay. Um, the last one, guys. Shall, shall, shall you. Could, could you please tell me what right, what grade I got? Okay. Tell me what grade, what grade I got. Okay. Yes, of course. You got a 10 for this activity. Okay, well done. Um, I don't know. Are you gonna take a screenshot? Are you going to take a screenshot? No. Yes. You can send it to the group. Okay. Pueden enviarla al grupo para que la tengan ahí. Okay. So just in case you need us to check some examples. May I continue? What do you? Yes, teacher. Okay, thanks. Oh, okay, so there you have the the answers. Okay, so look at the answers. So we're gonna check how to answer to this uh request. 
Uh, when we say yes to a request, we usually use expressions such as sure, certainly, of course, and no problem. For example, will you help me uh, read this? Will you help me read this? Of course, I will help you. Of course. So these are the words that we're going to use. Of course, certainly, sure, okay, and no problem. So they are some other uh answers that you can use, right? Not just yes, right? The common yes answer, <laughs> okay? So what's the meaning for of course, guys? Of course, of course, of, course, of, course, course. of certainly. What? Certainly, certainly. Softly. Certainly, the second one. Help me. Certainly. Oh, certainly. Como certainly. Uh, Certamente, ciertamente. Yes. Certe... It's a synonym for sure, right? Por supuesto, claro. Okay. Por supuesto. Ciertamente. Ah. Okay. And no problem, right? Okay. So look at this. Uh, and this is important. When you, um, in this case, we don't say um, no, right? To uh, a request. So we use a different manner, different words or vocabulary. For example, will you accept my homework late? So he's being polite, right? Because he wants to pass the, the grade, let's say. Um, what you think, you, you cannot say what you think. <laughs> so, but the way that you answer is totally different. I'm sorry, I can't. I don't accept late homework. I'm sorry, I can't. So it sounds a little bit uh, softer, right? It's a bit más suave. It's not that. No, okay. Okay, Um. let's see. So what's the word? I'm sorry, I can't. I'm sorry, I can't. I don't accept. I'm sorry, I can't. I'm sorry, I can't. Uh huh. So you just don't mean to say no, right? Okay. And now we're going to be checking another structure. And this is would you mind? Would you mind uh, in Spanish? So what's the meaning? Any idea? Maybe you, you know that? Uh, sorry. Uh... Mm -hmm. Would you mind? So would you mind? Opening the door for me. Como te importaría abrir la puerta te importaría. por mí. Mm -hmm. So that's another way uh, for request. Okay. But the structure that we need to follow is this one. You're going to place would you mind plus the gerund to make this uh, request. And remember that a gerund, you add ing to create a gerund, right? For example, what are some examples of gerunds that you know? Gerunds. For example, open. Opening. Opening. Do. Listen. Doing. Doing. Listen. Listening. Listening. What else? Can you mention some more verbs? Take. Uh -huh. take, take. 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 In. Take. In. Take. 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 Write. Writing. Writing. Okay. Cook. Cook. Use. Using. Cook. Um, okay. Cook. 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 Cooking. Watch. Watch. Okay. Watching. What else? Read. Reading. Uh huh. Read. Reading. Sleep. Sleeping. Sleep. Sleeping. Good. Plan. How about plan? Planning. 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 Uh huh. Planning. Run, running. Run, running. Okay. 
So I think that the idea is clear, right? So a gerund, remember, um, it uh, has a function of a noun. And um, in this case, you're going to use the gerund, OK? With uh, would you mind? Would you mind opening the door? So would you mind speaking with the doctor for me? OK, so would you mind speaking with my mother? OK, nice. Let's see. Let's check some more examples. Okay, let's see. Um, Raul, can you read the information that we have in this uh, box below, uh, above? When we answer. When we answer this day on request, we not at all. It means that we will do what the person request. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what do we mean with this? Okay, uh, when you answer this type of request with not at all, it means that we will do it, uh, we will do what the person wants, uh, right? For example, will you mind looking at uh, over my assignment? I don't mind at all, not at all. Okay, I'll do it. So you have three possibilities. I don't mind at all, not at all. Okay, I'll do it, not at all, okay? So it means you're, this is a positive answer in this case. So would you mind reading that for me? I don't mind at all, not at all. Listen, listen that, listen up, not at all, not at all. Not at all, not at all, not at all. Okay, so could you repeat that again, uh, please? Not at all? Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. Uh -huh. It sounds like R, right? Not at all, not at all. Mm -hmm. not at all. Rejoining the sounds. Not at all, not at all, not at all. Will you mind uh, looking over my assignment? Not at all, not at all. Okay, so now here you have a task. So we're going to imagine the following situations. And we're going to make polite requests using will you mind? And um, and besides that, you have to think of a possible answer to that question. Look at the example. You're talking to your English teacher. Would you mind explaining a grammar rule to me? Not at all. How can I help you? Okay. You're talking to your boss. So what would you ask him in a polite way? Or what will you request from him or her? So you have to think about it. So what will you ask to your uh, boss? So you're talking to your boss. For example, would you, would you mind? Giving me a raise? <laughs> okay. <laughs> boss, would you mind giving me a raise? What is raise? Un aumento, a bonus. Okay. Uh -huh. A raise, uh, not at all. So we expect this question, raise. Not at all, okay. So think about one question for each of that uh, statements and give an, an answer, okay? Think about a possible answer or reply. And we're gonna do that in uh, the break of rooms. So just let me open that. Do you have any question about the activity? Yes, teacher. Uh, I don't understand. Okay. Uh, what is the meaning not at all in Spanish? Uh, not at all. No, I don't know. No, I don't. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. So it means, um. Ok, por ejemplo, cuando yo le digo, ¿le importaría qué? ¿Le importaría ayudarme con mi tarea? No, de todo. Ok, entonces, ¿qué quiere decir? Que, que sí, me va a ayudar. Es afirmativo, ajá, ajá que sí. Exacto, okay. que sí me va a ayudar. Ok, entonces okay. lo que van a crear aquí es una, imaginar una situación. Ahí tienen ustedes cuatro oraciones. 
you, you have to imagine a situation and you have to make a request. Y tiene que ser una solicitud. Por ejemplo, aquí con el boss. Se está hablando con su jefe y le hace una request. ¿Cuál es la request? Uh, would you mind giving me a raise? I have uh, 12 children. Tengo 12 hijos. Not at all, he will say. <laughs> mm -hmm. okay. okay, so that's what you have to do. You have to think about a possible a request and a possible reply. Esa es una posible solicitud o petición y luego la respuesta. And remember that not at all is one of the possibilities. Not at all era una de las posibilidades. What could be any other reply? Let's go back. Another reply could be uh, no problem, for example. Oh, oh, okay. okay, look at this. I don't mind at all. Okay, I don't mind at all. Okay, I'll do it. So there you have three possible answers. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're going to work with the classmate and think about it. So write that in your notebooks. Can you show me the answers, the possible answers? Okay. The previous, the previous page. There you, there you have it. Yes. Yeah. Before doing so, uh, please take a screenshot. Take a screenshot. I don't know if somebody sent it. Okay, I have sent one. I think that the rain has caused some problems to your classmates. Okay, so there you have the two pictures. Give me one second. I'm going to create a uh, create the breakup rooms and then you can join that. Okay. There you go. Join the breakup rooms, guys. I'm going to be checking one by one. So let me know if you get if you get the invitation. Okay, Juan Carlos, uh, join Rene, Marco, Carlos, Stephanie, uh, Elizabeth, Isabel. Hello, Stephanie, are you here? Carlos Alberto, Marco Antonio, René Giovanni, Esmeralda. Recibieron la invitación, chicos. Uh, Carlos, Marco, Giovanni. Activate your microphone.
Hello, Raul, are you alone? Who's here? Okay, you have to work as a team. Esmeralda, hello, hello. Activate your microphone. Work with uh, Raul. Good evening. Hello. So look for the picture and uh, try to create the possible uh, request. Okay. Jennifer, are you here? Con quien voy a repasar? Ah, with Raul. Okay. Mm -hmm. Raul, Jennifer, and Esmeralda. Uh -huh, you have to uh, work with the picture I have sent you. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and then you have to create a possible, let's say, a possible situation, a possible request, and a possible answer. Okay, Raúl, you are talking to your boss. Así. No, hay que okay. crear. Lo que tienen que hacer acá es crear las requests utilizando would you mind. Would ah. you mind? Ajá. Y de ahí ustedes eh, lo que tienen ahí son enunciados nada más. Donde, esa es la situación. You're talking to your boss. Está hablando con su jefe. ¿Qué request le haría? ¿Qué solicitud le haría? So, would you mind? Would you mind? Um, would you like to talk with, with your boss? Okay. Would you mind talking? Talking. Uh, would talk you mind talking with your boss? With your boss or with my boss? Okay. So, would you mind talking to your boss or with your boss? Okay. Okay, esa podría ser una request. Not at all. ¿Cuál podría ser la respuesta? Not at all, no problem, I'll do it. Ahora tienen la segunda. You want your coworker to help you. ¿No quieres que te ayude tu compañero? ¿Cómo le, le, le solicitarías ayuda? Would you mind? Would you mind? Helping me, for example, would you mind helping me with uh, this report? Uh huh. Would you mind? Would you mind helping me? Okay. So try. Tell me. Do you have a question? No. Con el ejemplo yo. Ah. Okay. Don't worry. Continue working, and then we go back to the breakout rooms. I mean, to the main session. What do you think? What is hello guys? How are you doing? Any question? We almost oh. finished. Okay, nice. Sure. Tell me. Yeah. For the fear clear sentence okay i write we write would you mean clean up the rooms okay for is is okay let's see could you repeat that again please would you mind help me no, sorry sorry would you, would you mean clean up the rooms okay so remember, uh, you have to use would you mind plus the gerund. It means that for, you... for this, this verb, the gerund is cleaning up. Exactly, exactly. That's right. Okay. So would you mind? Uh, this is the, the dog cleaning up. Mm -hmm. So would you mind cleaning up? 
Um, our rooms, for example, will you mind? Let me write it for you. Cleaning up. What is the compliment that you have? Will you mind cleaning up? The rooms. Okay, the rooms. Okay, that's awesome. And what's a possible answer that you have for that question? Not at all. Not at all. Okay, not at all. Or you can also say, I'll do it right away. So it means, I'll do it right away. So it means, sure. Mm -hmm. sure. Sure, no problem. Of course. No problem, of course. So you see? So these are some possible rep uh, uh, replies. Okay. Okay. Um, Thanks. Thanks, guys. So I'll leave you in a second. I'm going to check a second group, okay? Okay. Hello. Did you finish? I think so, teacher. You think so? <laughs> okay, that's great. Yes. And uh, let's see. Okay, we're going to go back. Okay, let's see who wants to give us the first example. Let's see, team one. Team one is, let me see. Okay, Jennifer. Um, will you mind? Mm, will you mind talking my boss? Mm -hmm. Talking? Talking? Okay. My boss? You can say talking with, okay. Talking with or talking to. Okay. Mm -hmm. Talking with, will you mind talking with my boss? Mm -hmm. So talking to is different. So talking to it, it means that you are the person talking to you, right? He's a listener. But when you talk with someone, both of you are interacting, right? Okay, let's see. Um, so what is the answer? What is the answer? Okay, second statement, question, what do you have guys? Second. Huh? Would you mind helping me with this task? And the answer, sure. Okay, would you mind helping me with this class this class task. task oh sorry task and the answer the reply sure sure easy okay question request number three what do you have volunteer request three activate your microphones up to your microphones. Raul, what do you have for number three? You want your children to clean up their rooms. So how will you ask them that? Mm. 
Would you mind? Would you mind? Would you mind? Remember, cleaning your room? Uh -huh. Remember, the pronunciation for this is would. Would you mind? Would, would you mind? Would you mind? Would. Listen, listen up. Would. 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 So would. Would, you mind? would you mind? Cleaning your room? Okay, would you mind cleaning? Okay, cleaning, cleaning up your rooms. Okay. Excellent. What's the reply? Let's see. Would you mind cleaning you up your rooms? Saul, so will you mind cleaning up your rooms? What is the no. answer? Answer? Sure. <laughs> sure. Okay, and the last one. You want your wife or husband to help you cook dinner. How will you request that? Would you mind helping me to cook. Helping me with the, the dinner. With the dinner. So okay. So would you mind helping me with the dinner? Okay, nice. And what could be an answer? Is correct. Yes? Is correct say uh, would you mind helping me cooking the dinner? Okay. In this case, no, not that way, because that's um you cannot have these two verbs, right? So uh, Jaron, Jaron. Um, in this case, you have to use an infinitive. So would you mind helping me to cook? Okay. So would you mind helping me to cook that dinner? Okay. Mm hmm. But not to get okay. Excuse me, Excuse me, teacher. Yes, tell us, Alexander. I have a question here. Uh, I don't know if I'm. What would you see? Well, why we use here and uh, this this question cleaning up? Uh, the, the, the word is that this word up means up with this cleaning up. It's the same um, as clean. Uh -huh. You can say just cleaning or cleaning up. It's basically oh, okay. the same. It's a phrase word. Mm -hmm. oh, it's it's a mm -hmm. So you can say clean up. <laughs> cleaning up okay. instead of saying cleaning. <laughs> okay. okay um, but they, that's the same activity. Okay. Let's see. Um, well, we will continue. And we have a task right now. We have a short conversation, a skill showdown time. We have some uh, short conversations. Let's see. Um, Saul and Irma, you go first. Please read the four short conversations. Okay, I start. Okay. Would you mind turning, that, turning down the music? No, not at all. Would you mind cleaning the yard? Sorry, I'll do it right away. Would you mind moving your bike? Not at all. i do it right away. Would you mind not playing baseball here? We're sorry. We go and play in the park. In the park. Okay, so uh, I mentioned this before. What's right away? Right away. Right away. Ideas? Uh, ahorita. Ahorita, right. Now. Means now. Okay. Ahorita, inmediatamente. Okay, so that's another way, to, uh, another form, another uh, word that you can use, right? At the right away. Let's see. Um, we continue with um. Let's see. I need two volunteers. Two volunteers. Mm. 
me. Or big teams, let's see. Saul, select someone. <laughs> you know, uh, you know them. <laughs> yeah. Saul, select somebody that you want to help him or her to practice. Yeah, we, we if we, if we practice, we learn more and mm -hmm. we. Select somebody. Select. Let me see. We have Stephanie, Marco, Juan Carlos, Jennifer, Elizabeth, Raquel, Isabel. Uh -huh. um. Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos. Okay, Juan Carlos. And okay. and let's see, Raul. Okay, Raul. Okay. Uh, would you mind turning down the music? No, no, at all. Would you mind cleaning the yard? Sorry, it do. It's right now. Would you mind moving your bike? No, at all. It's I do. It's right away. Would you mind not playing baseball here? We're sorry. We we go and play in the park. Okay, we'll go, we'll go and play in the park. Okay. We'll go and play in the park. Okay, so how do you read this uh, contraction for I will? Okay, so how do you read that? I will, I will, I'll, something like this. I'll, I'll do it. I... I'll do it right away. Okay, I'll do it right away. Okay, I'll, I'll, I will, listen, the long form, I will, I'll, okay, for the contraction. Okay, let's see, Um, how about some ladies? Um, Saul, please select two people. I think it was Raul, right? I got confused now. <laughs> let's see. And select Jennifer. You Jennifer, are Isabu. Jennifer and Isabu. Ah, okay. Jennifer and Isabu. Okay. Okay. Would you mind turning down the music? No, not at all. Would you mind cleaning the jar? Sorry. I'll do it right away. Would you mind moving your bike? No at all. I'll do it right away. Would you mind not playing basketball? Uh, sorry, would you mind not, not playing basketball here? We're sorry. We'll go and play in the park. Okay. Okay, so I noticed something. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Look at this, do it. Okay. Something like this. I'll do it. We I'll gotta do practice it. this teacher, mm -hmm. I think. I'll, I'll do, do it. it. In group, I do it this 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 type of words. Mm hmm That's how will you repeat that? Um we gotta practice these words that we, we can pronouns oh, like yeah. this i'll do mm -hmm. it i do it or yes so uh -huh. i'm gonna show you how to do it and yeah we still have some minutes i'll do it i'll do it and uh, okay it. right away right away so right we already away. know what's the meaning right away right away okay so i'll do it right away i'll do it right away okay yeah. Not is something important here. I'll do it right away. 
So when you have a consonant here, probably right away. Okay. Uh, I needed to focus on it. Consonant vowel. Look at this. So you have a word ending in a consonant in a word starting with a vowel. So you join that two sounds and you make one, right? I do it right away, right away, right away. I do it right away. So it, it's not anymore right away. I do it right away. I do it right away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I do um, it right away. Yeah. Okay. The other one is will. Will go. Will go. The we'll pronunciation go. for will. It's not will. It's not will. Will is William or <laughs> I don't know somebody mm -hmm. else, <laughs> right? Will. 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 No, uh -huh, that's well. Okay. I will, I will go to the party. Okay. I will go to the party. Or you use the contractions, right? I'll yeah. go to the party. I'll go to the party. I'll. I'll, I'll. I'll go to the party. 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 Okay. And one that can make cause some confusion, it's it all, it all, it all, it all, it all. Uh -huh. But that's for it and will, it and will, it all. Okay, let's see. Um, Anything else? Oh, okay, so baseball, 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 baseball. baseball. And as well as the word mind, 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 mind. mind. For example, in the question, in the request, would you mind, would you mind, would, would, so we go back to would. So would you mind, would you mind, would you mind, would you mind? Uh, helping me with the uh, homework, please? So would you mind? So would, would, would. Okay, uh, let's see. Any other any other word, guys, that is causing uh, any trouble? For example, clean up, clean up, clean up, cleaning clean up. up, cleaning up, okay, clean up, 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 okay. So you say Thank go you. up, okay, go up the stairs. Thank you, Thank you Okay, no problem. It's a pleasure. Okay, let's see. Um, let's see what time is it. I'm gonna pass the attendance list and then we're done and you can go to sleep. <laughs> but just help me with the attendance list, okay? It's gonna take a minute, so don't worry. Oh, by the way, um, please try to complete the activities uh, for today's lesson. That's um, we're gonna check that in a moment, okay? Because after each class, you have an activity to complete in a platform. Remember, that's important so you can practice your writing skills and your listening skills. Since you have a video and you also have a, a written task. Recuerden que tienen ahí un material en la plataforma. Tienen el, bueno, hay un video. Hoy no lo pusimos, pero estuvimos hablando de lo que trata el video. Y también tiene un ejercicio después de cada video. So remember, that's important. You have to complete that. Let's see, Carlos Alberto Martinez. Claudia Maria Garcia Rodriguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Claudia Maria Garcia. Esmeralda Isabel Martinez. Irma Jacqueline Manzano de Rivas. Present. Thank you, Irma. Isabo Elizabeth Torres. Present teacher. Thank you. 
Jacqueline Elizabeth Guevara. Jacqueline Rebeca Cermeño López. Jennifer Raquel Ayala Vázquez. Present Thank you, Raquel. Juan Carlos Cubillas Bonilla. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan Carlos Maravilla Méndez. You got a problem, I think, with the, mm -hmm. with the work. Oh, I think. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to give tell you something about it because well you know this is part of is of our requirements uh, Carla Abigail Aguilar Rodriguez Carla Abigail Aguilar Luis Fernando Linares Sierra Marco Antonio Quijano Marco Antonio present thank you Marco Raúl Antonio Pérez. Present. Thank you, Raúl. René Giovanni Martínez. René Giovanni Martínez. Not here. What happened? And Ruth Mariela Samaya de Guardado. Okay. Saúl Alexander Lozano Calderón. Present, teacher. And Stephanie Jamilet Pérez Romero. Present. Te teacher, I am Esmeralda Isabel, but I have had some problem with my inner internet, but I am here. Okay, so just let me check that again. Okay, got it. Thank you, Esmeralda. Anybody okay. else who has a problem? Or somebody I didn't mention. Bye. Ok. Uh, nada más recuerden, chicos, que es importante la asistencia. Uh, no son, bueno, no tenemos autorización para darles permiso. Sí, siempre necesitamos saber, ¿verdad? Que nos escriban siempre, ¿verdad? Pero no tenemos esos permisos. Entonces, imagino que hoy también fue consecuencia que estaba lloviendo. Um, yo les sugiero que no traten de no faltar a ninguna clase porque al final afecta bastante afecta bastante recuerden que esto va con las notas y va también la parte de las de la asistencia entonces eso va sumando minutos y al no contar con todos esos minutos con los con el, el, el 80 que se pide de, de asistencia entonces ahí sí ya hay problema. Nada más esa observación, chicos. Y pues eso sería todo. I don't know if you have any question. If you have a question, let me know. And please complete the activities in the platform, okay? Any question? Uh, I will come back the, the next week. Okay, uh, yes. We're going to have a class on Monday and then you're free. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. So we'll see you, uh, I think, uh, um, till the, let's say Monday 7, okay, Monday the 7th. But we're gonna let you know, okay? Pero le vamos a estar haciendo saber en el grupo, así que no se preocupen, okay? Okay. But we have a class on Monday. We have a class on Monday. Very good. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you guys. Bye-bye. Good night. See you on Monday. Thank you. Thank you. Saul, tell me, do you have any question? Uh, teacher, mm -hmm. we are we are in the big. How, how how much percent we are uh, right now in, in about in in our in our English on the we, platform? Yeah. Mm, okay, so let me check. Let me check. Because I need to check that. Uh, 
how many activities have you worked on? Um, uh, One or two? Because I stopped be because uh, the, the, uh, the teacher, it, it, does, it doesn't continue to the, to the classes and then, Mm -hmm. But uh, I will. Um, I will take. Uh, I will continue to the to the, the platform. Mm -hmm, with the platform. Okay, so I'm gonna show it to you. Let me see. Uh -huh, the things that you have a uh, you have an assignment after each class. I don't know if you if you know that. Oh, okay. And these are your Saul, right? Saul. <laughs> Let me I check. See. Oh no, this is the other group, I guess. So let me open. I don't, I don't think so. I'm good right now. I I have to do uh, all this. No, you only have to uh, do one activity after each class. But let me check. Let me check. Uh -huh. At the end, during each week, you are supposed to complete uh, like five activities. The video yeah. and the uh, written exercise. This okay. Is, uh, okay. Let me look for that because I lost it. Yeah, I think it's um, okay. It's here. This this week is one to number two. Um, mm -hmm. From one to from one to let me see. Okay, so this is okay. No problem. <laughs> Lesson objective one and two. Okay. Okay, these are the videos. And these are this is the lesson objective. Okay, one, two, three, four. So we're uh, this is our class number four. Mm -hmm. Four. So request with models and will you mind? So you're supposed to work on this activity, but I don't know if you have finished with that. <clears throat> yeah, man, I, I did. Okay. But yeah. I, I, I mm -hmm. promise I, I will I will Okay, like I will get the... I will off effort. I will do it for okay. my effort, but, but one question. I'm gonna switch to Spanish. Mm, acá, por ejemplo, va el video, va el lesson objective. Eso solo es la información, ¿verdad? The lesson objective. Luego yeah. viene el video. It's a, an explanation. And then yeah. you have a, a task. Okay, aquí no hay a task, pero aquí en el video, si hay una, un pequeño cuadrito donde se puede agregar una publicación. So at the end, uh -huh, okay. when she asked uh, to do some uh, activities. Y acá, por ejemplo, acá en esto que tienen el lápiz, son las, son las tareas. Okay. ok. No sé ahorita en cuál... Vaya, este, es el, este sería el... So el primero, este sería el 2. I class think I'm in uh, one point or 1.3 I think. Ah, okay. So you're doing 1.4. So 1.4 yeah. is about the, um, let me see. Uh, it's about the phrasal verbs. Pick up, and then you have to complete that with the picture. Pick up, uh -huh. um, let me see. I can see it. Uh, it could be pick up the toys. Pick up the toys, please. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh huh. And, and then you continue. Work. Uh, working. So you're supposed to work th with this activity. Knowledge check. After request. One point eight. One point eight. Okay. Would you lend me twenty dollars? <laughs> so you have to look for an answer. We're yeah. sorry. We'll talk more quietly. I'll sorry. I'll do it right away. I'm sorry, I didn't realize this seat was taken. So there, there are different uh, answers, and you have to look for the one that best fits the question. Hay que buscar ahí la que mejor se apegue. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. So at the end, let me see. Lesson one, objective, release, neighbor, neighbor, neighbor. Okay. Mm -hmm. But you can work with this activity. 1.9. And there you have a rating. Okay, but we're gonna do the reading next class, I guess. Okay, acá vamos. En esta parte vamos. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Okay, Take Saul, care. thanks a lot. Bye bye. Take bye -bye. care. Thank have you. a great weekend. Thank you, you too, teacher. Have a great weekend too. Bye bye.